We're doing something a little different today. I really, really want to update the Dreaming Dominion to 1.13 as soon as I fix some major bugs. But I don't want the oceans to be barren. I want them to look like this loading screen for Minecraft. I want it full of coral and kelp and seagrass. I want shipwrecks and I don't want to have to go thousands of blocks beyond what I've already explored for that to happen. Oh yeah, and little villages underwater too. That would be so cool. There is a way to do it. It is not without risks. So I'm going to do a test run first and we're going to see what we can manage. Now I have got my original world which is Helios and there's a backup of it which we will be using for the preparation but we also have down here a version of my world that I already made into 113. So we're going to have a look in that first so you can see what the oceans are like around my base, where I've explored and what I'm trying to avoid. So we'll go into here. So here we are in Helios. Now as I said this is 113 but I just want to show you this is what the ocean is like around my little base. I've taken a potion of night vision so we can see down into the water and there is nothing to see. I mean nothing for a very long way. We'll head out but you won't find anything. That's my one little village that's near me. All the others are ages away. Now one thing I did do in this world, because I was way too afraid to do anything else, was I explored. I explored a long way. So for me to have any decent oceans here, I've got to go a long way. So this is the crossover point. This is where Update Aquatic 113 can really kick in. Now, Home Farm is at 140.801. And as you can see, we are out at 3409 minus 1140. As I said, I did a lot of exploring. So this is the sort of thing that I want to happen way back over there. So let's get started with bringing on the change. Right, what we're looking at here is a backup of Helios in 1.12.2 before I upgraded it to 1.13. I've got it open in MC Edit 2.0.0. I do not have Minecraft open. That's really important. So we're going to select the chunks that I want to protect because what I'm going to do is delete all the oceans, rivers, swamps, whatever, but I want to keep the areas that I have built stuff in. So I want to select the chunk finder or the chunk selector and um, we'll just do where the boathouse is I think. Yep that's one. Now we're going back to, uh, where is it? We should have chunk information. We do. So that's actually only one chunk and if you have a look at the bottom it says that the chunk is 9, 3, 48. Now the important numbers there are the 9 and the 48 because they are the X and Z coordinates. I don't have a whole lot in this world that I've built on that I particularly want to protect um, but we're going to go find them. Uh, where's the village? Here's the village. I did nothing to it except stop mod mobs from spawning in it. And that was it. I had this thing about they'd built in their vernacular and I wasn't going to change it. Which is rubbish. Of course I can change it. So this will be more than one chunk. Well, there we go. So that's what we want to protect. Now the chunk at the top left is 
16, 3, 19. And the chunk at the bottom is 20, 3, 23. And again, it's those first and last coordinates that are important. I just want to double check that is one chunk and not several because that would be annoying. Oh, it is. So we've got to face north. 8, 3, 47. 9, 3, 48. As well as using MC Edit, I'm also using a Biome Deleter plugin made by Reddit user 25A0. I will put a link in the description to the Minecraft wiki page that has got all this on it, instructions, links, the whole lot. Now what we're going to do, this is the plugin I'm using at Notepad. We're going down to a section called Protected Regions. So let's see if we can find it. Ah, pretty easy to find. And here it says, add your protected regions below this line. That's what we're going to do. So we spacebar across until we get to that hash and then we type chunk underscore region bracket and then our coordinates for top left which was 8 47 and bottom right which was 9 48 and then we put close the bracket and put a comma that's one. We've got another one we want to protect, remember? So space across again. Chunk region and no space after region. Bracket and our coordinates were 16, comma, space 19 and 20, comma, space 23, close bracket, comma. That's what we should have. And you can add as many protected regions as you want, as long as you type it like this. No space after region, space after each comma of coordinate, comma at the end of each line. And make sure that the C of chunk lines up with these hashes. I saved the modified deleter file. Next, we want to copy it into the plugins folder. So wherever you keep MC Edit, you've got the exe file. You've got this folder, which is MC Edit 2 files. You open that. You open plugins. And you copy it, or paste it, sorry, into the plugins folder. So here it is, Biome Deleter. And that's our altered Biome Deleter with the protected chunks. So here we are back in MC Edit with my 1.12.2 backup of Helios. And if we go up to plugins, you can now see that there is Biome Deleter. Now, this is where it gets scary. If you haven't backed your world up before now, you should have before you opened it in MC Edit. Quit out, back it up. Please, back it up. I've done several backups. So let's see. We open the biome deleter okay and it deletes chunks containing specific biomes we want we can choose between aggressive or cautious now aggressive deletes every chunk that has part of the biomes we want to delete whether that particular part of that chunk is that particular biome or not so if we have a look down here it would take out this bit as well as this bit Cautious only deletes chunks that are entirely of the biome that you want to get rid of. So it would delete this bit, but not this bit because it borders on this and has desert or beach in its, um, in its chunk. So I'm going with cautious because better safe than sorry. I have to decide whether it just 
does the bit that I want or whether it does everything. I want it to do everything. And now I go through and I select the biomes that I want to change. Okay, so ocean, swampland river, frozen ocean, mushroom island shore, beach, deep ocean, stone beach, coal beach. That's what we want. Okay. Now it's going to do it and we sit and wait. And if you have a look up the top, see how it says not responding? That's okay. It'll come in and out. It'll do what it's doing. We just wait. This could take some time. Okay, it actually didn't take too long, only a couple of minutes. Depending how big your world is, it apparently could take several hours. I was lucky. What we do now is we save the world, which again can take some time. And when it's saved, I'll close it and I'll meet you back in Minecraft. Okay, so here we are back at the load screen for 1.13. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how this is going to work. We're going to find out together. So we want our backup. So we select it. We select edit. We select backup and optimize world. Yep. Backup and load. That's thinking about it. Yay. All right, there we are. It's saying it's backed up. It's upgrading all the chunks. Yay! And here we are, Helios Backup. As I said, I should have changed its name. We might do that right now. Change it to New Helios. Hopefully that won't, yep. All right, we're ready to go in and see what happened. Oh, my goodness. Well, it definitely did something. My desert in Acacia world <laughs> now has icebergs just off the shore. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, that worked. Okay, I'm going to open this as a land so I can allow cheats. We're going to go have a look. Okay, uh, game mode, creative. <laughs> All right, let us get a potion of night vision. Let's have a look around. Well, the bay is certainly different. That is hilarious. Mo Young, I love what you've done with 113, but um, your biome generator, <laughs> it needs a wee bit of adjusting. I'm not complaining. This is funny and fabulous, but it's a little unlikely. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, we've got a shipwreck. Those barren, barren oceans. They are not barren any further. And it protected. Yes. Ah, oh, the biome deleter worked. Mm, yeah. You can see where it didn't quite make a smooth transition because I protected this. It's left it a bit raggedy. Oh, there's a dolphin. We might head back to home and just check around the boathouse. <laughs> that is so funny. There's another shipwreck. <laughs> well, I was complaining my world was a bit boring. It's not anymore. <laughs> no, that's actually pretty much generated it as it was. That's really cool. Anyway, that worked. 
So I'd say if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. But remember, before you start anything, back up your world. I'd do a couple of backups. Just so if something goes wrong, you can do it again. But this worked. It worked beautifully. As soon as 113.1 comes out, as soon as they fix a couple of major bugs like um, chests emptying, I'll be doing this to the Dreaming Dominion. So hopefully you've got something out of this. I certainly have. I've My original world, my very first Minecraft world, I can now explore all over again. So I'd say give it a try, but back up, back up, back up.